Okay, this is the video for EGT 110, Chapter 5.0, the locator part. And what we're looking for when we complete this drawing is going to be this picture here. And I'm going to take you back and show you how we get to here. Um, first, I'm going to give you, I want to make sure you guys are, type in menu bar enter type in one enter and that just gives you a, a additional toolbar here that you may need um, for later always do that when you first start up make sure you have this both of these toolbars located up here and also I want to show you what I have for um, my different layers here and in this video, I'm going to use the center layer, the construction, dimension, and object. And if you don't have that, you can go to your layer properties here. You should have the proper template. Um, but if you don't, you can come here. And you can always come out in this area and right click and create a new layer and we've done that in the previous video so sh you should be okay if not just contact me and we'll uh, get you squared away what we're gonna I'm gonna kind of I'm not gonna do this but I'm gonna show you first thing you need to do is create this what I did I used I created a layer called construction and I went here and created a construction layer and once you do that it'll show up here just go to construction and you can use the line command and just start here draw a line five and then one and a half then three two and a half one and a half and three and then cr have this block created and dimension it to make sure you are in the right ballpark with that what I did next, once I had this, all I did is went to the object layer here, and I created these three blocks. I drew right on top of the of the uh, construction lines, and I went back and deleted it. You can actually, for this, you can use the rectangle and just go to this point click it and then come here click that point and do the same thing three times and then you can delete the purple construction line underneath this is these three boxes represent where our drawing is going to take place so when we finish our drawing is going to fit in three boxes that will cover these three views right here we have our front top and right side view and everything lines up if I if I were to take a line and go from that corner it's going to line up with something over here and the same deal up here I'll show you how to draw a mitered line and line everything up from with the top view and getting back to this once you have this create the three blocks copy and what I did also I did this then I went to the copy command and just created a window like this and then right click and then left click and I brought this make sure you have um, the ortho mode on cl by clicking this and when I click ortho it only lets me go straight or up or down so copy this over to here create those three blocks and then again copy left click left click and then right click left click and bring this over to here and once you get this offset one inch go to offset click this line and offset it over one inch hit your space bar or go back to offset click this line and offset it up one inch okay take this copy it I'm gonna bring these two views in and start trimming off the lines that you see 
here that are missing here. You're just going to use your trim command here and just start trimming lines off until you have this completed right here. Okay? It's going to take you a while. I'm kind of going through this quick, but I, at least I'm, I'm setting you up, showing you how is you know what we're looking for and you can pause this video and ask questions or you know just take your time and get that set up properly again go to copy create a window copy this over to here and what we did here is come in go to offset select this line offset it up one inch select this line and I'll set it up one inch okay then I went back to offset and I typed in a quarter of an inch and I offset this line down and I offset this line up and what that does it gives me this point right here and down here I'll show you if I go to offset 0.25 enter and I select the bottom line and go up. All I'm looking for is that point right there. That way I can draw this line. And we're going to trim these off right here. I'm going to trim, trim that part of the line off and this part. And the same thing up here. I want to trim this line off and this one. And once we do that, we have that corner taken off here. We have that corner taken off there by using the offset. And what I did next, I went to the line command, and right on that corner, I drew a line down to here. And make sure, see how I'm getting that rec that square box here? If you're not getting that, come down here. There's an easy way to do it. Just right click and go to object snap. Make sure you're on the object snap tab and select all and hit OK. And what that does, it gives me that corner right here. So what I can do, I can come to trim, click that line, right click, trim that off. And I can come over to match properties if I'm in a different layer, and click the object layer here, and click that one, and hit escape. And now that corner that's showing up here I can show it in my lower view so what I'm doing I'm just using uh, lines to transfer down and later we're going to transfer everything over to here to create um, a completed view now I want you to take a little time with this one it looks confusing but it's not really when you get into it go to your construction line pick this corner right here draw a line up draw a line over and where they meet you're going to draw a 45 degree line up it doesn't matter how long this line is as long as it's 45 degrees and it's you know well beyond the drawing area then just take the line command and transfer every point over from the top view until you reach that 45 degree line I want to show you I'm just going to delete this temporary and show you you can go here and you don't you don't have to if you, you should get that perpendicular sign but even if you went past and hit enter you can always come here and trim just cho choose the 45 degree line right click trim that line off so you're going to transfer everything over even the center line what might help you is to go to the center line command go to line because this represents the center. Click there, and then click down to here. And then I'm going to match properties. I'm going to click my center line, and I'm going to click that line and change it to a center line. Hit escape twice. So once you do that, just transfer the remaining lines over. And then from that point, you're just going to transfer them straight down. And the book tells us that this gap here is one inch. 
Same here. You've got a one inch flat on the top of this part. And, uh, and if I zoom into that flat, I got a 30 degree slope. So what I did, I just went to line. Let me just do one of these hit. Let me just delete that. I just went to construction line. I picked this angle. And again, it doesn't matter how long that line is. And I got to come in and take ortho back off by clicking that. Just come out beyond the drawing. And you see that 5.65. I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to hit tab, and the angle I want is 150 degrees. Enter. Which, hit, then hit escape twice. That gives me 30 degrees here. And you're going to do that on both sides. There. I also went to my hidden line here, and I went and picked line. And I went to the outside of that circle and transferred it down. S and what I can do here is trim off from this line that. And it gives me that whole location. And I can also do this transfer the center line down. And I'm going to draw a temporary line here. Let me get out of this command. Go back to construction line and I'm just going to trim that off then I'm going to erase this one later we're going to erase those 30 degree lines a bit because we only need it to go to here so actually I could come and trim off of this line and this line Right click. Let me do that again. Trim. And then trim again off of this one. Right click. Trim. And what I want you to do is just look at this very carefully. Transfer everything down. And then what you're going to do is start transferring lines over. Like this corner is going to be transferred. I'm going to turn ortho back on transfer that over and later you're going to do some changes here you can look in the book at the very beginning of the chapter it gives you all of the dimensions for the locator part and that's where I'm getting my dimensions from also so take a look in the book and get those and you should be able to once you get all the lines transfer you can start erasing or trimming lines off and what we want to end up with is something like this we want to get very close to having all of this done and we you can start erasing all of these construction lines and there's no magic in this slope here that is just, that's the uh, let me see if I can zoom in this line right here all I did was trim off I went to trim click one two right click and this line is the same as this one but you're gonna have to come up here and make this little cut out and this cut out and transfer that line down and get your hidden lines in and transfer those over if you see that that takes care of that line right here I'm not going to draw that in but that's where I got that from so kind of take a look at this look at the part on in the book and get all your dimensions and eventually, this is what we want to end up with here. That's what we want to create a block. If you go back to some of the earlier videos, if you've forgotten how you create, go to create a block. And we eventually want to bring this over to our title block here. Um, so give it a shot. Again, start at the beginning. Take your time. Go through the video very carefully. And uh, I think you'll be very successful.